Welcome to NetFit.TV. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout, working every single muscle in the human body. We're going to get started with push-ups. We're going to be doing one set, up to 30 reps. So I want you to set a goal. If that's 15 reps, hey, once you get to 15, you feel like you have 10 more, continue until you get to 30. Once you get to 30, I want you to do one of two things. Either pulse it or hold it on each exercise. Team, are you ready? Good, let's get down in push-up position. Hands a little wider than shoulder width on your toes. Ready, and let's go down and press it up. I want you to exhale up, inhale down, keeping your stomach tucked in. See how everyone's doing? You could drop down to your knees if you can't do it on your toes. I want you to keep your back flat from your shoulders all the way down to your knees. I want a straight path. Good, Amber, are you feeling it? Good, lift your hips up a little higher, tuck your stomach in. Just like that. Keep the shoulders away from ears, get a little bit deeper, and press it up. There we go, full stretch, and push it up. There we go, hips higher, stomach tucked in more. Good, make sure you keep your hips up or you're gonna hurt your back at home. So keep your hips up high. We got five, four, a little bit deeper, three, two, one more, and good. Everybody on your feet, good work. Next, we're going to do squats. Toes out, heels in. I want your chest up. You're going to go into a full squat and then stand up and squeeze your glutes, your booty when you stand. Are y'all ready? ready? Let's go, full stretch and stand. Inhale down, exhale up. Make sure you keep your eyes up, chest out. Okay, inhale down, exhale up. Good, make sure you don't pass your knees. Uh, make sure your knees don't pass your feet. Keeping your chest lifted, keeping your knees back. Press more with your heels. The more you press with your heels, the more you can feel it in the bum. Who wants tone, thighs, and booty? I know I do. How about you, Megan? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Good, let's get five more. Go as low as you can. You can go lower, go lower. It's all about your personal best. For three, good, last two. One more, and good work. Next is sit-ups. So I want you to lay on your back. I want you to place your hands behind your head, chin up, and I want you to sit all the way up. Team, you ready? And let's go. If you can't lift your elbows all the way up to your knees, I just want you to crunch like Amber. Just lift your shoulder blades up and then release. Make sure you keep your chin up where you could place an egg between your chin and your chest. Are you feeling it pull right here? Yes. Yes, good. So lift your shoulders up higher, knees closer. So keep your knees close. You'll feel the activation in your stomach more. Full stretch and lift. Good work. If it's too easy to do a full sit-up, I want you to add a weight like Justin. Are you feeling that, Justin? Oh, yeah. Good, if you're not, let me know, I can make it harder. There we go. Roll it and lift up. Make sure you roll it back one vertebrae at a time and then release. So low back first and then drop. If you just plump back, you're gonna hurt your back. Good, three, two more. Two, last one, and good. Everybody on your feet. Next is high knees. Okay, so we're gonna get our heart rate really high I want you to pick those knees up. I want you to work fast. Think fast, work fast. Chest up, ready? Ready team? Let's go, high knees. Knees up high. I want you to pump your arms. I want your knees up high. How fast can you go? Come on, let's push it. Ear to pocket with your hands. Good running form. Good. If you can't pick your knees up high, I want you to keep your knees low. You're still gonna, getting a good workout. Just like that, shoulders down a little bit, Amber, chest up. Very good, just like that. There we go, higher. Good, or if you can pick them up high, pick them up high. Keep your chest up a little bit. Oh, now we're feeling good. Are you feeling that, Justin? Yes, What's your heart rate? 169. 169, what is your heart rate at home? Is it 169, is it up? 220 minus your age is your max. Keep it up for three, two, and one. Good job, roll those shoulders back. We have pull-ups. Let's get into our stations. There we go. Okay, now I want your chest out, arch your back. I want you to lead with the elbows and I want you to pull, driving the elbows through your side, squeezing your back and then release. Pull, hold and release. Team, you ready? And go. Good. There we go. You could either use a resistance band or you can use a chair and then have a pull-up bar and then have the chair help you out where you can use your legs to help you pull your body up or you can just do your body weight with no chair like Justin. How you feeling? Good. Pull it up. Chin above the bar. 
Good. Go down lower. The lower you go, the more you'll feel the pull in your back, and then the more work you will do. Full stretch. Come on. 10 seconds. Let me get a few more in. There we go. There we go. Hold, hold it for me. Let me get five more. Four, three, two more. One more, everyone. Hold. And good. Good job. Great work. First circuit is down. Let's get a 30 second water break. Water is very important. You need water to replenish your body from us sweating. I know I'm sweating. Are you? Take a quick break. Mmm. -hmm. Man, water never tastes so good before. Good. We have 10 seconds left, so get ready for the next next exercise. The next one is lunge. We're gonna do a stationary lunge. Good. Right leg forward, left leg back. I want you to keep your chest out, shoulder blades together, and from your shoulders to your hips, I want you to go straight down and then straight up. I don't want you to go forward where your knee passes your foot. Why? You're going to injure your knee. Team, you ready? Ready? Let's go. Straight down, straight up. Good form. If you feel like you're losing your balance, I want you to grab onto a chair to help you out. There we go. Balance is pretty good. Good. Shoulder blades together a little bit more. There we go. Lean back. Now I want you to make sure you're pressing with your front heel. So about 80% on your heel and about 20% on the ball of your foot. So put more pressure on the heel so it can work your front leg more and it will work your booty a lot more. Do you feel that more in your booty? Yeah. Good. Keep it up. Full stretch. Add some weights if you need. I'm going to get a few more in. Good. Last five. Four left. Four. Three. You can move your arms if you would like. Two. If you don't have any weights. And one. Let's switch legs. Now left leg forward, right leg back. Can't forget about the left leg. Ready, team? And let's go. Full stretch. And push it up. Good. Another quick note. Make sure you're focusing on the front leg more than the back leg. Shoulder blades together a little bit more. So main focus is the left leg right now. You should be feeling the front of your right hip too. Are you feeling that? Good. Full stretch. And push it up. There we go. Is that heavy enough? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Okay, good. Just want to make sure. You feeling the burn? Okay. If you're feeling the burn, that's what counts. You want to be feeling it. If you're not feeling it, that means you're not working hard enough. But you do want to focus on quality more than quantity. That's very important. Good. Let's get five more. Five. Last four. Superman's coming up. My favorite. Last two. One more. And good. Time to fly like Superman. We're going to lay on our stomachs. I want both arms straight out in front. Head down. You're going to reach with the arms and legs out before you lift up. Team, you ready? And let's go. Reach and lift and then down. So I want you to inhale up, exhale down. Go check on everybody. Good. So I want you stiff as a board. I want your body stiff. I want your hands close together, feet close together, pointing your toes so you can really feel the contraction all the way down your back. From your upper back all the way down to your lower back, to your booty, to the back of your legs, to your calves. This works the entire back. It's a wonderful exercise. We have about 15 seconds left. I want you to lift up and hold it. Hold it. Everyone hold it as high as you can. Are you feeling it, Justin? Who is burning her brother? Come on. You can do it. Keep it up higher. Come on. We have about five seconds left. Four, count with me, y'all. Three, Three, two, one more. And good. Everybody drop it. Did you feel that at home? I bet you did. I know they did. Okay, everybody on your feet. Next is squat jumps. We're going to squat and jump through the ceiling. I want you to squat, feet a little wider and shoulder width. You're going to drive your arms through your side and then throw your arms up like you just don't care. Make sure you keep your knees soft so you don't hurt your knees. Notice, I don't want you to plump like so. I want you to softly land. Team, you ready? Ready? Let's go. Arms back. Ready? Three, two, and jump and release. Good. Soft knees. Do you hear anything? No, you shouldn't. Keep it up. Keep your chest up, eyes up. There we go. If you can't jump, I want you to lift your heels up into a calf raise and then release. Okay? Level one is fine. Start at level one. Remember, then you go to level two. And if you got level two, then go to level three. How you feeling, Justin? Good. Soft landing. There we go. Jump, soft landing. There we go. I don't want to hear those feet. Perfect. Now as fast as you can, as fast as you can at home. We got 10 seconds. Fast. Pump it. Let's get five more in. Five, four, three more. Three. Good. Lift up higher. Two. One more. And good. Good. Next, close grip push-ups. Your heart rate should be up right now. You should be feeling it. It's probably up at 169. I'm 
What is yours, Justin? 183, okay, even higher. So that's a high cardio exercise. Next, let's go into close grip push-ups. This is really gonna define the back of your arm. I know you want defined arms, so let's do it. Hands close, shoulder width, okay, elbows tucked into your side. Ready, and let's go. Down and push, good work. Keep those elbows tucked into your side so you can really feel the back of those arms. That's what we're working right here. Notice how Megan's back is flat. Good work, Megan. That's a way to demonstrate. Hips up, hips up higher now. Good, elbows tucked close to her side. Are you feeling it? Oh yeah, she's feeling it. Okay, make sure you also keep the top of your legs contracted. If you keep them contracted, then it's going to put more pressure into your arms so it doesn't pull on your back as much. Okay, we have 15 seconds. Good, full stretch. Let's get six more. Let's count down for six, five, four. Good, last three, keep it up. Two more, one more down and hold it, hold it, hold it, push it up. Good job, good work at home. Very good, very good, everyone up. Hey, next, feet close squats. This is gonna work the bum, let's work it. Feet close together, chest up, nice and proud, hips back, ready, and let's squat and stand. Keep your chest up, I forgot, let's go super slow here. Team, slow, up slow, down slow. I don't want your knees to pass your feet. Okay, if they do, you're gonna work your knees instead of your hips, and we wanna work the booty, not the knees. Good, you should be feeling that. The slower you go, the harder it is. Are you feeling it? Yes, knees closer together, Justin, so at home, make sure your knees are glued together. If your knees separate, you can start working the inner thighs. This is a booty exercise, not the inner thighs. Are you feeling it, Justin? Sure. Okay, go all the way down, hold, up halfway, and down, we have five seconds, four, deeper. Three, chest up, two, pulse it low, hold it, hold it, hold it, and stand. Good job, you can drop the dumbbells if you have some. Let's take a quick water break, 30 seconds. See you in a second. Whew, how y'all feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. Feeling good? Good. Oh man. Very good, 10 seconds left. We're almost there. We have one more round. Last circuit right here. Let's make it happen. We're going to start off with some seated ab rotations. Okay, this is gonna really work the side of your stomach. This is a great exercise, especially if bikini season's coming up. You wanna make sure you focus on this one. Focus on all of them, but really this one. Okay, team, you ready? Okay, I want your arms straight out in front. I'm gonna do a few of these. I want you to lean back and twist to the right and then twist to the left. Focusing on your stomach, not your neck. Keep the shoulders away from your ears, chest up as you twist, and then switch sides. Make it harder, lift your feet up, make it even harder, grab a dumbbell. You'll really feel the burn. Keep it up. There we go, twist. Or you could grab a dumbbell and lift your feet up. There we go, straight arms a little bit more, twist. Make sure you keep your back straight. I don't want you to curve your back and look like this, I want you to keep your chest up and arching your back. You can't see it, but that's what I want you to look like, okay? Keep your chest up as you twist to the right and to the left. There we go, a little side view. Notice how his chest is out, just like that. Twist, breathe, don't hold your breath. As fast as you can, let's rep it out for seven. Faster, breathe. Six, five, whoo, we're feeling it. Four, three, two, one. Good work, everyone, okay? Good, you could stand up from there. Next, we're going to do burpees. Burpees is an excellent cardio workout, okay? So from doing ab rotations, your heart rate should be down. It's supposed to be, and now we're fixing to elevate it again. So let's get started. Team, are you ready? Ready, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna squat, hands, jump back, jump in, and jump up. Let's go. Jump back, jump in, jump up. Add a push-up if it's too easy. There we go, let me go check on everybody. Good, notice Amber is not jumping, and she's using a chair, just like that. So she places her hands on the chair, she pushes her legs all the way back where her back's flat, and then she steps in. There we go, she could even add a push-up, add a little push-up when you go down. Oh, good, and then lift up. Do you feel that more? Oh, yeah. There we go. One more thing, I want you to lift up onto your toes. There we go, so I just added even more muscle involvement in there. So a push-up and a calf raise as she does this 
to make it hard before she goes to level two. Okay, we got two more. Good, one more, everyone. And good, good work, good work. That's why you get the heart rate up. Roll the shoulders back, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, let your heart rate come down a little bit. Next, we're going to work the back in a bent over row. I'm gonna show everyone a couple of reps real quick. I want your chest up, I want your back arched. I want you to pull and you're going to twist. Tension your shoulder blades together and then release your arms. Keep your chest up. Are y'all ready? Ready at home? Let's go. Good, pinch. There we go. What's your goal, Megan? 30. How about you, Justin? 35, 35. How about you, Amber? 20, good. What's your goal at home? If it's 20 and then you hit 20 and you feel like you have 10 more, do 10 more. You want to hit momentary muscle fatigue. What is momentary muscle fatigue? When you can't do another rep with good form. But remember, quality over quantity. There we go. Notice the resistance is tight at the top and then when you release, it's loose. So really focus on the top whenever you pull because that's when you're going to feel the burn with the resistance band. We got three more. Three, good work. Two, one more. Hold it at the top and I want you to pulse it for three, two, and good. Now I want you to take your time as you place your weights down. We're going to go into a side lunge. A side lunge, we're just gonna focus on the right leg first, so hands on hips, or you can grab onto some dumbbells. We're going to kick the right leg out. I want you to bend your right leg, and then you're gonna push up, bringing your right foot back to your left foot. Let's just focus on the right leg right now. Okay, are, are we ready? Ready at home, let's go. Right leg out, bend the right leg, push up. Good, keep your chest out, keep your eyes up. Add a smile if you can, there we go. Good, let me check on Megan. Shoulder blades together, perfect. Now notice how she's leaning into the right leg. I want you to really focus on putting all the weight in your right leg, but making sure that you keep the pressure on all four corners of your right foot, and then push up. Chest up a little bit more, that's perfect form. This is what I want you to do at home, full stretch and push it up, good. Let me get in a few more in. Last five, count with me for five. Four more, four. Good, chest up, three. Last two, one more, and good. Good work, let's shake that leg out a little bit. Shake it out, do y'all feel that? Good, is that heavy enough for you, Justin? Right, let's go a little bit heavier. How about you at home? Are you holding, off to, holding on to heavy enough dumbbells? If not, grab onto some heavier ones, left leg. Are y'all ready? And let's go, left leg out, and push up. Good, chest up, and press up. Put all the weight in the left leg. Knee does not pass your foot. There we go, good. Even getting a little stretch in the right inner thigh, do you feel that? You should, unless if you have super flexible inner thighs, and you could do a split. Let's go, keep your chest up. Good work, full stretch. Shoulder blades together. Looking great, feeling great, living our best life. Whoo! Did I tell you about the love-hate relationship we're gonna have? You might hate me now, but you'll love me in the future. Good, shoulder blades together, chest up. Come on, we have three, last two, two, one more. And good, we have one more exercise, and that is plank. This is the best workout, or the best exercise of the year, voted by Dr. Oz, or Dr. Oz is the one that said that. Hands and toes, I want your shoulders over your ears. Pull your stomach in and just hold it. That's all I want you to do. Not too bad, huh? Just hold this position. This is working our entire body. Our shoulders, our hips, our knees, our feet. Good, keep your stomach tucked in. There we go. So your back is flat from your shoulders all the way down to your ankles. Her stomach's tucked in. Her back of her arms are contracted. Shoulders away from ears. Good, are you feeling that, Megan? Bend your arms a little bit. Bend your arms, there we go. It was too easy, I could see it. So I made it harder for her. So bend your arms if it's too easy. But remember, quality over quantity. Hips up a little higher. Good, we got 10 seconds. Get deeper, y'all. Five, good work, good work. Three, two, and good. Everyone on your feet. Great work at home. This was a full body workout took 15 minutes out of your day. Hey, everybody has 15 minutes. Remember, it's what you do over the next 10 years, not what you do over the next six weeks. See you next time.